Hello. Last time we introduced the argumentative essay. The aim of the argumentative essay is to present a point of view and then present arguments in favor of that point of view. We also said that in this type of essay, you establish the point of view that you want to argue near the start of the essay. The point of view that you argue for is called your thesis. The thesis is the central controlling idea of your essay. When we state the point of view that we're going to argue, it's called a thesis statement. In this video, we're going to look at the process of finding what we want to argue, constructing an argument and formulating a thesis statement. Before we can define the exact point of view that we want to argue in our essay, we need to first find our research niche. A research niche is basically a gap in existing research that we as writers aim to address. For example, this could be a perspective that hasn't yet been taken into account. Your research niche is the area of the academic field where you're going to make your contribution. As you read different articles and books in your field, look out for particular themes that grab your attention or points of view that you agree and disagree with. These give you good starting points for developing your own contribution to the discussion. Once you've identified an area you want to write about, do some more focused reading. Note down any debates in this area. What point of view do you have? Can you add a new perspective or identify something that should be addressed? Let's illustrate this process with a theme that we might want to write about. Let's imagine that I've been doing some reading on the debate around free speech and censorship on social media. This debate is about whether people should be free to say whatever they want on social media or whether certain types of content should be limited. Through my reading, I've collected various ideas on both sides of this debate topic. In favor of free speech on social media, Free speech on social media allows individuals to criticize authority and enact social change. Free speech on social media enables open debate, which is important in a democratic society. And it can bring immoral or problematic ideas to light and allow them to be challenged. Arguments against free speech on social media. It can result in the spread of false information. People may use social media to incite violence against others. It can amplify divisions and lead to polarization. And it exposes vulnerable groups to harmful content. As you can see, this is quite a lively academic debate. I would like to explore this debate further and add my own contribution. Based on these points I've collected, I could make a good case either for or against free speech on social media. However, if I just argue that free speech on social media is good or free speech on social media is bad, Am I really adding anything to the debate? As we can see here, many authors have already put forward arguments on both sides. What we want to do is identify a new perspective that we can contribute to this debate. If we look more closely at the arguments we've collected here, we can see that a key theme is the impact that free speech on social media has on society. Now at first, I thought free speech on social media could only be good for society. I thought that everyone should be free to share whatever they want to enable open discussion. However, through my reading, I found some really interesting and compelling examples of how social media has been used to spread misinformation, incite violence, and encourage division and polarization of society. So my new perspective is that when we don't have any limits on what people can say and post online, this can ultimately lead to damaging consequences for society. In our essay, we need to express this point of view as a thesis statement. Our thesis statement will make it clear for our readers what our standpoint is. In other words, what point of view we will argue for in our essay. But what should a thesis statement look like? A thesis statement should be a debatable statement, not a question. As we said before, in an argumentative essay, the aim is to argue for one point of view. Therefore, you should express that point of view as a statement. In other types of essay, your aim might be to answer a research question. In that case, you will express the main idea of your essay as a question. A thesis statement should also be something a reasonable person might argue with. If you make a very uncontroversial thesis statement, it doesn't seem worth reading your essay. When you write your thesis statement, try to imagine someone arguing against you. 
It should also be focused. A thesis statement is an expression of the central controlling idea of your essay, so it should define the scope of your essay. If your thesis statement is too broad, you won't be able to argue it successfully in the essay. And it should not simply be a list of your arguments. Your thesis statement expresses your overall idea. Then you'll put forward a few different arguments to convince your reader of this idea. So your thesis statement shouldn't just be a collection of arguments, it should express the idea that your arguments support. So take a look at the following possible thesis statements. Which is the best one? The first one is hard to disagree with. Most scholars would agree that free speech is an issue that deserves attention. The second one is better because it's more arguable. For example, some people might disagree and say that unlimited free speech is overall beneficial for society. However, this thesis statement is still too broad. Our arguments focus specifically on social media. However, this statement suggests we're going to discuss all possible forms of free speech. The third one is much more focused. Here, we clearly indicate that we are concerned specifically with free speech on social media. However, this statement is still not good. Instead of giving an overall standpoint, this statement lists our three component arguments. It's not clear what the overall point here is. The fourth one is focused and expresses our overall point about the effects on society. However, it's expressed as a question. It needs to be a statement. The fifth one is debatable, focused, states the main standpoint that we want to argue, and is expressed as a statement, not a question. So this one ticks all the boxes. In practice, it takes time to decide on a good thesis statement. Here, as in all the writing you do, you should see revision as part of the writing process. View your thesis statement and arguments as part of a whole. As you develop and refine your argumentation, you may find you need to tweak your thesis statement to better capture the essence of what you want to argue. In summary then, before we can define the exact point of view that we want to argue in our essay, we need to first find our research niche. In an argumentative essay, you argue for a particular standpoint, and this needs to be expressed early on in your essay as a thesis statement. A thesis statement needs to be a focused and debatable statement that sets out the point of view you're arguing in favor of. To find your research niche, pay attention to the themes and debates that interest you as you read around your subject. Note any points of view that you disagree with or perspectives that haven't been addressed. For example, perhaps you disagree with limiting free speech on social media, or perhaps you have a different perspective on the kind of online content that should be restricted. As you do your course reading, you should also get in the habit of identifying the research niche of the paper you're reading, and how the author aims to address that niche with their thesis statement or research question. This will help you understand the text better while also giving you insights to help you develop your own contribution to the academic discussion. Good luck with your research. See you next time.